What's up guys, Coach here, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Orlando. We have a nice 80 degree winter day here in Central Florida. It's fantastic. Now today we're not gonna be doing a crazy challenge, anything like that. I'm actually gonna give you guys a couple tips. We're gonna get educational, we're gonna get instructional. Now this video is gonna be geared more towards the high handicap player, the beginner golfer. So you guys that shoot in the 70s, 80s, even low 90s, this video is not really gonna be for you. Now the topic of choice today is gonna be short game. I'm talking 50 yards and in. Now I've played with a lot of amateur golfers in my day throughout my career, and, and, and let me ask you guys this. Who here has trouble getting it up? And not in the sense you're thinking, get your head out of the gutter, I'm talking about getting that ball to fly up in the air. You know, from 50 yards and in, I see so many amateur golfers leave tons of strokes out on the table. You know, they can get it off the tee, they can get it up by the green, but 50 yards and in, I'm seeing thin shots, fat shots, skulls across the green. You know, shots that just really keep you from, you know, making par, saving bogey. You know, they lead to doubles, triples, even quads. So we're gonna talk about some of the misconceptions these high handicap players have, and we're gonna talk about how to properly create a nice strike on the golf ball, correctly use the loft of the golf club to get the ball to fly up, nicely, high and soft, laying on the green next to the hole, so that way you got to putt at it. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I've got a 60 degree in my hand, but it really could be any wedge. And I just want to talk about some of the flaws I see from these high handicap players, from these beginner golfers. You know, some of the misconceptions they have in terms of how to get the golf ball up in the air on these short shots. You know, how to avoid these thin shots, these fat shots, these skulls across the green that are really just keeping you from having a putt at the hole and maybe saving a par. I think the biggest misconception is, is that people think that they need to help the ball up into the air. They need to increase spine angle and kind of hit up on the ball, or they need to come through and kind of scoop it, right? But in actuality, what we need to do is hit down on the ball. We need a descending angle of attack. And that's the reason why we have loft on our golf clubs and so much particularly on our wedges is because we are gonna be hitting down and the loft of the golf club is what's gonna help the ball up in the air. So how do we create that clean strike on this golf ball? You know, I, I think first it all comes down to a setup. Now let's just say we have about a 10 yard chip that we wanna hit here. We wanna get the ball up in the air high and soft. I'm gonna set up here with my 60 degree. I've got a very narrow stance. I've got the ball mid to slightly back in my stance. My hands are leading the club head. You'll see that my arms and the shaft of the golf club really create the letter Y. Now I'm left-handed, so it's gonna be reversed, but for a right-handed player, it will be a Y. So we've got the hands leading, and I've got about 70, 60 to 70% of my weight on the lead foot. All these things are really gonna help us to create that downward angle of attack on the golf ball. So now as we go to hit a shot here, like I said, the concept is not to hit up on the ball, not to help it up, but to hit down and let the loft of the golf club bring the ball up in the air. Weight forward, hands forward, maintain that, and hit down on the golf ball. You almost wanna feel like you're trying to press the golf ball into the ground. So really the concept is, is to hit the ball first, and then you want the golf club to come in contact with the ground directly after the ball. So it'll be ball, then ground, hold your finish. Let's try it again. Ball slightly back in the stance, weight 60 to 70 percent forward hands forward and maintain that forward angle throughout the golf shot now let's elaborate on what i just said a little bit so we've got this y angle we'll reverse y because i'm a lefty and as we come down to impact we want to maintain that angle hands still leading the club head and through finish but what we don't want is that scoop or that flip where now the club head is passing the hands that's going to create a very undesirable impact position and undesirable ball flight. So just to recap, we're setting up narrow, weight slightly forward, hands are in front of the club head, and we're really just gonna rock the shoulders, hit down on the ball, and keep those hands in front of the club head so we're eliminating that scoop or that lifting motion to help the golf ball up in the air. So I know what you're thinking, probably easier said than done, right? But there's a lot of drills out there that you can do that can really help you to achieve that impact position where the hands are leading and you're not flipping or scooping or lifting, right? One great drill you can do at home, at the golf course, really wherever you are, as long as you got a golf club, is to grip the club about halfway, maybe three quarters down. And you'll see when I do that, the grip is now on my lead side. And if I make little swinging motions, little chip shot motions, even little wedge pitch shot motions, my hands aren't able to flip through because this grip is now hitting my side. So that's a great little drill just to help you create that sensation uh, sometimes people will put an alignment stick in there and then they'll actually hit shots with it. You can actually, one sec, you can actually even grab another golf club and then just add it on top. I know it's kind of wonky and weird, 
but it's a really good way just to work on little short chips. So it's super simple. Now if you're more of a visual learner, one thing you can do is grab a towel, lay it down flat behind the golf ball, about three, four inches behind the golf ball. And the goal here is just to hit chip shots and not hit the towel. It's gonna force you to keep those hands forward, weight forward, everything's moving towards the target, right? If we were to release early and flip, we're gonna come into contact with that towel. So let's give it a go here. Beautiful, great strike. And it created a ton of spin, nice compressed shot, and the ball went up high and soft. So really great little drill there as well. All right, so lastly, if you really truly are a beginner golfer and you're just really trying to create better ball striking, I think the best thing for you to do, the best way to learn as a golfer is from green to tee. I believe that the golf swing is an evolution from the putt. You know, we're putting, we're rocking the shoulders, right? When we're chipping, the hands are slightly forward, we're rocking the shoulders, but we're coming into contact with the ground, right? Hands are leading more. Then we go to a pitch where we're adding a little bit of a pivot, but also wrist hinge, right? We're pivoting and hinging now. And then of course to a full swing where you're creating more of a full pivot, full turn and hinge, right? And it's just, it's just an evolution. So I think the best thing you guys can do to work on this is to start with short little chips and then work your way up. So utilizing the techniques I've just showed you, start with a little 10 foot chip where we're setting up weights forward, hands are forward and we're just rocking the shoulders. It's almost like a little, it's almost like a little putt chip, right? We're just doing little putt chips and that's gonna help you create that sensation and help you understand the feeling of hitting down on the ball, compressing it and letting the loft of the club take it up. Then from there, we can start increasing the distance we take it back, not really adding hinge yet, maybe going for like a 20 yard shot where you really don't have to hinge it. We're just rocking the shoulders back and forth, taking the club a little further back. Once you've mastered that, then you can start adding some hinge. You know, that's gonna be a little different on the way back. But when you come through, you still want that same impact position. Hands leading the club head, hitting down on the ball, ball then ground, creating a divot right after the ball. Really simple stuff once you get used to the feeling of it. So those are just my quick tips for you guys that are beginners. I think it's just a really important concept for you guys to grasp. It's gonna help you so much. It's gonna take strokes off your score. It's gonna help you lower that handicap. And ultimately, it's just gonna lead to more confidence. Like I said, the golf swing evolves. So if you can master these short chip shots, it's gonna help you with those pitch shots and those pitch shots are gonna help you with those full iron swings. So keep working on that ball striking, guys. Remember, hands lead, hit down, and you're Gucci. Three, two, one.